Hey everyone, this is Shoaib Afta. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And in this video, I'm going to discuss about the ideal paper attempting strategy. I'll also tell you about my paper attempting strategy and what I used to do during my NEET preparation days. So let's begin. So first off, to decide your ideal paper attempting strategy or what works best for you, you have to attempt a lot of mock test papers. After attempting a lot of mock test papers, you'll get to know exactly what kind of sequence that, uh, that you should follow during your exam. Subject sequence, which is uh, whether you should uh, attempt physics first or chemistry or bio and also the time you need to allot for each of these subjects. We will also talk about the changes in the paper pattern. Most notably, you have 3 hours 20 minutes in this exam as opposed to the 3 hours which you earlier used to have. So most probably the NEET 2022 paper is going to be a little bit lengthy and maybe a bit tricky too. A lot of students applying for NEET are from various boards and various uh, states, but they need to revise the exact paper pattern of the uh, latest NEET paper, which is 35 questions plus 15 questions pattern. Students also have to do time management of the questions, which is you have to attempt 180 questions in 200 minutes. Actually 200 questions because uh, what I suggest is you should solve all of the questions and then try to uh, you know fill OMR into only those questions which you are completely sure of. Hence mock test papers are an absolute necessity during this period. You also have to practice at least 10 to 15 good quality mock tests during the last 30 days. Now let's talk about what should be the qualities of a very good mock test series or a mock test paper booklet. So first of all, the paper pattern should be exactly similar to that of the coming NEET 2022 paper, which is you should have two sections for uh, every subject, physics, chemistry, geology and botany. That is section A consisting of 35 questions and section B of 15 questions then the difficulty level should also be very near to neat let's say a bit uh, a notch higher to the neat level but not very difficult and not very easy to. we should also have a lot of diagram based table based inference based mcqs in order to test our conceptual understanding of the whole subject matter this is where the educart mock test paper series and booklet comes in for the first time top neat educators have collaborated together to form this kind of mock test paper series it comes in the form of a loose booklet uh, with the uh, OMR sheet that resembles the actual NEET 2022 paper. We have educators like Pranav Pundarik and Garima Goyal who have mentored more than 2 lakh students and uh, they are biology gurus and we also have chemistry expert Ravi Prakash who has mentored 40,000 students for NEET. The paper is in the form of a booklet with the same instructions and the same format as that of NEET. It will help you to simulate the same type of exam environment that you want to be in during your NEET exam. Free doubt solving sessions by these experts are also to be provided via telegram and it is available for free if you buy this test series. Answer key and detailed explanation of all the difficult questions are given to. This series is launched in two parts, series 1 and series 2 consisting of 10 papers each and the series 2 is for final 30 days revision. Next let's come back to the sequence part. Uh, my favorite sequence is to be physics followed by bio and then chemistry. For most of the students it is bio, chemistry and then physics. But I have a different take on this. Uh, my take is that you should always attempt that uh, subject which you are strongest at. Let's say you are strongest at bio then you should attempt bio first because when you get most of the questions right that confidence carries into other sections of the paper too. Always have a rough estimate of the time that each section takes. So for me it was physics 1 hour 15 minutes and for chemistry 45 minutes and for bio 45 minutes too. Now you obviously have more number of questions to solve but you also have uh, more amount of time too. So uh, the changes which I wanted to discuss was that now you have 3 hours 20 minutes in place of 3 hours. So what you get to do is uh, you have more time that's a positive definitely. So you can solve all of the questions and then attempt only 180 out of 200 questions. Another thing is you should always solve the paper in various rounds that is in the first round you should solve those questions where you are uh, completely sure of completely confident of in the second round you should try to attempt those questions which you marked let's say you are uh, you have a doubt in one of the options or you have a doubt in the question structure you are finding it to be too lengthy or something like that. Next let's come to OMR filling what I used to do for OMR filling was that for bio for organic and for inorganic chemistry, I used to fill the OMR along with the questions. But for physics and physical chemistry, I used to solve the whole section and I used to recheck all the calculations and then I used to fill the OMR sheet. Next, let's come to some of the common mistakes that you should definitely avoid while attempting the paper. First of all, you have to read 
the whole question you should never read the question partially or hastily you should uh, try to give as much time as possible to re towards reading the question you should graze it and you should underline and mark all of the important words so uh, let's say in that question you have been asked if it's correct or not if it is incorrect and you should read all of the options too because a lot of the times we may miss out options like all of the above none of the above we might uh, read the first option find it as correct and we might tick that but the rest of the options might be correct too and the answer may be all of them last but not the least don't get too nervous if uh, you are getting some of the questions wrong just move on from that section or if things get uh, too bad then you can even move on to a different subject too and another thing examiners do come for various signatures and stuff and that happens in between the exam so that can be an interruption make sure you reattempt the question that you are attempting while the examiners come towards you for signatures or some other stuff so you should never lose your concentration during these kind of activities i have heard of people making mistakes due to this so hopefully you all uh, got to understand what my paper attempting strategy was and what kind of paper attempting strategy that you should apply towards your paper if you found this video useful do like subscribe and comment on this video regarding what type of content you would like to see in future thank you guys